For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor, MMOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got my first player ratings update video of the year. It's Thursday night, and pretty much every Thursday night, they're going to be dropping player ratings from now until the uh, end of the year. So, if you guys want me to continue to do this type of video, I did it all last year. I plan on doing it all this year. Please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let me know in the comment section what ratings you think should have changed or didn't change or EA got right or wrong. It's always fun to uh, debate those things. That's why I like doing this video in the first place. Now, I have an actual looked at these ratings yet i'm going through this live and direct from the top of the list the number one player the highest rated player that had an overall change in this game this year so far is christian mccaffrey now i don't know what he did week one i know there was a lot of great performances week one but i don't really know what he did um that would make you know i mean i know like a lot of these guys like you could have gave mika parsons a plus one i know he had a great game you could have gave you know there's a lot of guys that had great first weeks um it's just i don't know what uh you know what did christian mccaffrey do uh, on that next level that got him uh, an upgrade over a lot of these guys that stayed the same. So the next guy on this list, Patrick Sertan, uh, he has a plus one. He's up to a 95 already. That guy is like mad young. And he's rated the same as TJ Watt. TJ Watt also had a plus one, uh, which just, you know, just makes you question like, I mean, I know Pat Patrick Tan is a great player, but I think TJ Watt's been doing a little bit longer. He's still, I don't know, somebody's either overrated or underrated there. I can't really say which one. Now, Joe Burrow had a negative one. He had such a bad first performance that he had a negative one. He's down, I mean, he only had 82 passing yards in the game against the Browns, but he's down. He got a negative one drop. So did Derwin James, who's another guy who I always kind of feel like, like is just a little low overrated by reputation because he's a six foot three safety he's a monster player but it's like the defenses he's on are never good so that really makes you question like how good is he if he's not really impacting the overall performance of the defense like that performance that they get put up against the dolphins was terrible if you have an elite defensive player at some point he has to you know slow the bleeding or something i don't know there's just something about the Chargers i just don't buy uh, moving on to the next page, we have uh, Quinn Williams. Quinn Williams is up one. That's another guy who deserves it every time he raises up. He's one of the best defensive players in the game. Darius Slay somehow got a plus one. Uh, I'm an Eagles fan, so I'm happy for that. But at the same time, like that interception return for touchdown that he got was like pretty fluky. He didn't like make a break on a ball. Or something. I don't know. To me, it's like I'm, I'm, I hope he's playing that good. I hope he, I hope he, you know, shuts down uh, Justin Jefferson again this week. Uh, or this week in an hour as, as that game's almost almost here. Uh, Dexter Lawrence dropped the point. I mean, pretty much everybody on the Giants dropped the point after that beating they took from the Cowboys. Uh, you also got Jesse Bates going up two points. Now that dude had two interceptions, which was, uh, I mean, he was, he's got to be the best safety in the league by far, in my opinion, Jesse Bates. That guy is just such a playmaker. Uh, Josh Allen, the cover athlete, going down a point, uh, which is funny because, like, I was like, he's got to go down this point. Dude, that, wouldn't he have five turnovers? Like, he should have went down two points. But I'm guessing the fact that he's on the cover, I mean, they, when you lose Aaron Rodgers, how do you lose that game? Aaron Rodgers got injured on, the like, the fourth play of the game. That should have been a cakewalk for Josh Allen to take a division game, and somehow he figured out how to blow that game. And to only go down a point to me is criminal. He should have went down two points. But like I said, I don't think they want the cover athlete, you know, taking a dive like that right off the bat. Roquan Smith went up a point. He's now a 93. Um, I, I, once again, I didn't see what the Ravens did, but he's obviously a great player. So, you know, I'll take that for what it's worth. Chris Lindstrom went down a point, which I don't understand, because all I know is that the Falcons had, like, you know, their running backs had three touchdowns. So I'm guessing that, I mean, one of them was a receiving touchdown. But I'm just saying, like, if you if you win the game and obviously you did it a lot on the ground running the ball, I would imagine that your best lineman had something to do with that. So why is he going down a point? That makes no sense to me at all. Uh, David Bakhtiari went up a point. You know, like I said, every, I mean, after a big win like that, I'm sure all the, the Packers guys went up. Demarcus Lawrence goes up a point. I'm sure, once again, probably all the Cowboys guys went up. Justin Simmons went down a point in uh, Denver. I don't know what happened there. Uh, Marshawn Lattimore, uh, he goes up a point, so he's up to a 91. Aaron Jones up two points. I know he had a big day, um, so that's a, that's a big mover right there to go up two points. Lamar Jackson, in a win, somehow went down a point. I mean, I know they probably should have you know, blown out the Texans, but you're going to take a point off because they didn't blow out the Texans? I don't really know. That's a weird one to me. Tyron Matthew went down a point. He's down to a 90. DK Metcalf up a point, up to an 89. I know he had a touchdown, but overall, that performance by the Seahawks was just embarrassing. Uh, Frank Ragnow, up a point. He's up to an 89 lineman. Jordan Poyer went down a point. I thought he had a pretty good uh, game. I don't know. Once again, I, I guess I didn't see that part. 
once Aaron Rodgers went down, I got to be honest, I didn't watch that whole game anyway. Uh, AJ Terrell up a point, one of the best cornerbacks in the game. He should keep rising. Brian Burns up a point to an 88 as well. Uh, Tra Traverius Ward up a point to an 88. Uh, you know, the whole Niners roster probably got up a point. Dalvin Cook down two points, which is very interesting because uh, his backup, um, Brees Hall, went up two points. So, you know, I mean, Dalvin Cook, like I hate to say it, but that's why the Vikings got rid of him. They just are watching the clock when it comes to running backs. Like, that's what the league's doing now. So I would imagine Dalvin Cook might be cooked, but we'll find out. Uh, Jalen Hurts didn't move at all. I wouldn't have been surprised if he went down a point because that first effort wasn't too great. Um, but at the same time, it was pretty subpar, so losing a point would have made sense. Trayvon Diggs up a point. Uh, Tyler Lockett down a point to an 88. Both of those players at 88 now. Uh, Trayvon Diggs will probably keep rising. That secondary is going to be tough all year. Brandon Ayuk up a point. I agree with that. That dude's going to keep rising too. 87, very good player. Uh, Brian O'Neill up a point to an 87. I'm not going to go too far. I know I did see that Ezekiel Elliott was down two points. I watched the game. I didn't think he played that bad. I thought that was crazy. Matt Milano had an interception, if I remember correctly, but he's down a point, uh, which makes no sense. Once again, Hufunga up a point to an 87. Both those players are an 87. Jordan Mailata went down a point. I mean, I know the Eagles offensive line as a whole didn't play too great, but that don't really make a lot of sense. Josh Allen, outside linebacker uh, for the Jaguars, up a point. And I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the other outside linebacker, the former number one pick, whose name is evading me right now, went, went up two points, if I remember correctly, because I did see that somewhere, but I don't know if I'm going to get that far on the list. Quandre Diggs down a point in Seattle. That whole team, after that loss, should be down a point. Uh, Rashawn Slater up a point uh, for the uh, for the um, left tackle for the um, Chargers. He's uh, another guy. Should be rising for a very long time. T. Higgins went down a point. I don't know what you could do the way Burrow was playing or the way he was getting manhandled. I mean, why would T. Higgins go down a point for not making any catches when the quarterback couldn't get the ball out of his hands clean? So that makes no sense. Tyson Campbell, cornerback for the Jag, goes up a point. Zadarius Smith, I mean, once again, the Browns, the way they play, that whole defense should be up a point. He's up a point to an 86. Uh, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, former Eagle, up a point as well to an 85. He had a big, you know, statement first game. Uh, Chris Olive up a point as well to an 85. Another guy that'll probably be rising for a very long time. I imagine both those guys could be. And somehow in that that stomping that uh, San Francisco gave to the Steelers, I guess Dre Greenlaw didn't do something right because he lost the point. So I don't know how you how, you, how the team wins 30 to seven. Did he give up that seven? That makes no sense to me. Uh, Javon H Holland up a point uh, safety for the Dolphins. I think he had an interception too, if I remember correct, but I'm not 100% sure about that, so don't quote me. But very good player. Kyle Duggar went down a point. Uh, and then we get to, like I said, the high movers. Tua Tungavailoa up two points to an 85. Not surprised. I, I did it. I kind of expected a, a one point boost. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, I mean, he had the best passing game of the week, so two points makes sense. He'll definitely, I mean, he's a great player. If he stays healthy, he'll be in the 90s by the end of the season, I would imagine. And he's a dark horse MVP candidate for sure. Once again, health being the biggest issue. Brees Hall up two points, only had like two carries, and both of them were like huge runs. I mean, that was an amazing performance. That dude looks like, I don't know why they even bothered paying. Uh, Dalvin Cook when you have that guy. You know what I mean? Like, and you also, I think they have Michael Carter too. So it's like that That signing makes less and less sense now, especially with Aaron Rodgers not playing. Uh, Greg Newsom, the second, up a point to an 84. Jalen Phillips as well, up a point. Like I said, both those teams, big wins. Gonna have a lot of players up a point. Cameron Curl went up a point. Uh, I wish they'd put his speed up a point though. 86 makes that uh, kind of useless. Uh, Odell Beckham went down a point. I'm guessing he didn't have a big first day in Baltimore because that, that's not good because <laughs> he's down at 84 already. Uh, but I would imagine I mean, he's got to bounce back. I don't know. I mean, that's that's just that's a tough question. Ta Tariq Woolen, up a point. That's a guy who probably should be close to a 90 already after his rookie season. I know I might sound a little biased. I mean, when he gets there, he's 98 speed, 6'3". When he gets there, he's going to be an absolute problem. So that's probably the real reason that EA is not... Uh, is not, it's not pumping him up, up faster. Uh, Aiden Hutchinson, up two points off of his uh, opening day performance against the Chiefs. I don't, I don't know what he did. I mean, I know he's a good player, but he must have had a couple sacks. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want me to continue to do uh, this list every week, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let me know what EA got right and didn't get right. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. I'm going to shut out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below.